Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a new and exciting way to add animations to your website, your mobile app or your desktop app. Let's talk about Lottie files. Okay, so essentially Lottie files are the type of animation files that use vector graphics instead of normal GIFs or images. And as it uses vector graphics, it can be also resized and manipulated in size without losing the quality, which is the main reason why we use SVGs in today's time. Plus, they are also smaller in file size compared to traditional GIFs. So as I said, they are animations. If you look at their homepage, this is the animation you will see and it's totally made with SVGs, but you don't need to write a single line of SVG. If you go to my website, you're going to see this waving hand, um, this YouTube icon and also this blog icon kind of animation that happens. But if you right click and inspect this, this is not a GIF. This is just an SVG, a plain old SVG that is generated using JSON. So basically you can just pick up JSON files or Lottie files. Lottie files come in the JSON format. You can just pick the JSON file and then you can place it in your project and then use it. I'll show you how you can use it on your website. So if you go to my website and if you go to slash Lottie's slash YouTube dot JSON, you're going to find out, okay, this is the YouTube JSON file. And basically this is the whole animation file. You don't need to write all this code. This is pre-made on Lottie files. So I picked it up from Lottie files. Okay, so you can simply go to lottiefiles.com. I will put this link in the description below as well. You can go to discover and you can find the free ready to use animations. Uh, we're going to open that up. You can also look at the marketplace, which if you build Lottie files, you can also sell them or you can put them for free. So let's search for some animations. I'm going to search for startup, whatever. We can search for anything. And hence, so we're going to build a loading screen. Instead of the normal traditional loading, we are going to put something else, something unique. So right over here, we have a bunch of them. So I suggest you to explore this site as much as you can. I searched for kickstart and I found this animation by Birju Raikwar. And basically this is exactly what we want. This is a rocket that launches and then another, ro another rocket that launches once more. You can also edit this if you want to. So if I go to edit layer colors, I can also edit this according to my needs, which is really nice. So I can just pick up a color. Let's see if if that actually works. I have I haven't tried it yet. So let's see. We have all colors. Yeah. So I guess we could just select this and then we could just modify the color a little bit. But we are not going to do that in this video. Let's keep it plain simple. I'm just going to close that and you can either download this file if you wish to or you can just copy this Lottie animation URL. That's it. We're done. You can also download it. So this is the optimized Lottie JSON, which is really optimized. So if you want to download this, you might have to pay. I guess this is the premium version. Yes, it's the premium one. So instead of going with the optimized Lottie file, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this animation URL. Let's copy this and I'm going to store this somewhere. So I created this basic HTML, CSS and JS project with absolutely nothing inside of it. But we just have an H1 that says starting up. And if I just open this up, so the H1 says starting up and here we have an H1 says starting up. We're going to style this later on. But for now, let's just go ahead and add a comment and just store put this URL right over here. Now to add Lottie files to your website, you can just hop on to code and you can add, you can go to web player. There are a lot more options that you can choose from, but for now, let's just go with web player and we have to add this web player to our website. So this is how it looks like right now. This is the animation URL. This is the play mode. You can, you can modify it as much as you want to. So first we have to include this script tag. So let's copy this. Actually, let's just copy the whole thing. Back in our code, we are going to paste the script inside of our head tag. So let's just do that. And this is the Lottie player. So let's cut this out and paste it right over here. Now I placed this script inside of head because we want the Lottie player to load before everything else, before our page is rendered. And if I put this script tag somewhere else in our, let's say after the body or before the body closes, this is going to load slowly. So we have to put this in the head and let's hit save. And I'm going to just look at this. 
this is how it looks like looks really cool we also get a player where you can pause and play uh, you can stop you can enable or disable loop but i don't think we need that so we can change this right over here first off we don't need the control so let's get rid of that in the style we have width then height which is 300 pixels which looks fine to me the background is transparent which also looks good speed is one and loop and autoplay you can just find more options which i guess right over here so if i just add this uh, let's just disable autoplay and let's stop this so it will basically i guess it should play the animation on hover but it doesn't anyways it will work in your case so you can Take a look at these things and it will generate the code for you for the advanced customizations they have this link where i guess yes so you can import it from a cdn or if you are using something like read or react i guess yeah if you're using read just install it through npm import it and then use it which is way easier and then you can also diff so this is their react and view guide this is the react player i guess and this is the react player with typescript so i'll put this link in the description below as well for you to check out the docs but for now let's just add this so i'm going to save this and going back this is how the animation looks like now instead of this animation we want our animation so if we go back we have this link let's copy this and let's paste it right over here hit save going back this is how it looks like pretty cool right even if i refresh i think it's cached now, right now the speed is set to 1. What if I change the speed and set it to 0 0.5? Well, I guess that changes. Yes, that does change something. That makes it slower. So let's go ahead and change this speed to 1.5 instead because we don't want it to make it very slow. I guess uh, let's try 2. And yeah, that looks a lot cooler. But I guess for this case, let's just keep it 1.5. Now, if you're wondering why Lottie player, this is a custom tag. This is a custom element that is provided by this script tag. So if I just comment this out, this is not going to work. It's just going to tell us that, hey, it's, it's, it's not even going to throw an error because this custom tag is called a web component. This is made available by the script tag. So let's uncomment this once more. And now I guess we don't need this app.js. So let's, um, let's get rid of that. So right now this looks very simple let's make it a little bit more stylish so i'm just going to go inside of the style css and i'm going to select the body i'm going to set the display to flex uh, justify content center wait a minute center align item center which is going to center everything and let's add uh, let's make the height 100 view height which sets up everything for us and then let's go ahead and also set the flex direction to column which will basically make it look better let's also go ahead and add the font family and i'm just going to set it to sans serif nothing more fancy and let's change the background color so the background color so i'm quickly going to launch my color picker on windows and i'm going to pick this dark color so let's copy this going back we can set the background color pretty quickly hit save and this is how it looks like looks fine i guess not so fancy but fine let's also change the text color to white and this is how it looks like so this is our loading screen you can say and also let's just uh, change the font size to i guess 2.5 them yeah this looks a lot better and also let's just make it a little bit larger the thing that i love about this is that you can customize it as much as you want but you don't need to get into the nitty-gritty details and you can also go ahead and inspect this and this is normal svg you don't need to worry about it at all you can also use it in flutter you can also use it in c sharp in your desktop apps i guess so if this video helped you out please hit like share it to others and let me know in the comments below what more of content you want as always, I'll put the code on GitHub. So the GitHub link will be in the description below for you to check out all of this code if you wish to. Finally, thanks for watching.